um, he says, no fruit, no value. God's looking for fruit. Um, how many understand that the fruit of the spirit is, 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 is not one, it's not four fruits or nine, it's nine different ones, but it's just one fruit. And, he, and the fruit grows equally, like love, joy, peace. All these, all these different fruit, same fruit grows equally. Meekness and temperance. And, and then he says in Galatians 5, against such there is no law. But he says, he says this, he says, and he, the Lord Jesus, answered and said unto him, God the Father, Lord, let it. Lord, let, let Gary. Come on, put your name in and say, Lord, let Janice. How many of y'all need some mercy? You ain't got to say, if you don't need no mercy, you don't have to say nothing. Just if you got it all together, you cool, you know, you got it, you got, oh, I don't need nothing. Okay, that's cool with you. But you could say, Lord, he say, let it, say, let, let Gary Jr., let, let G3, let, let, let let it, let it. If you're already there, you ain't got to say it. But if you still need some work, just say, but let it, let it. Put your name there, put your name there. Let it alone. Another, this year, this year. Let me keep praying. Let me keep doing, uh, let me keep doing what I'm doing. Help me. Come on, somebody. Lord, let it alone. I, I know I ain't faithful like I should be. I don't give like I'm supposed to, but just give me some more time. Because I know I might not have the fruit you need this season, but wait the next season. Come on, I wish I had somebody here. I, I wish I had somebody say, I might not be what I want to be, but just leave me alone for a minute. I'm going to get there. He says, this year also. He says, till I shall dig about it. And dung means to fertilize. And dung, silence means to, sometimes you need to be told off. Somebody, sometimes you need to be rebuked and corrected. Dung around. Somebody need to look at you and tell you, man, you ain't all that. Because you think in your own eyes you got it going on, but you ain't got nothing going on. Because by 6 o'clock today, you could be in the ER. Sometimes we got to call people off their high horse and, and let them know it's not about you. You got to dig around them, Dr. Hill, and let them know and put them on the money. The children say, make it, keep it 100. Let me dug around it, fertilize it. And then he says, and if it bears fruit, well, but if not, afterwards, cut it down. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you're on the clock. If you don't, if you, after this year, he says, well, after, after not, he says, and if it, if it bears fruit, well, and if not, then after you cut it down. Come on, say with me again. You on the clock. You don't have a lot of time with that foolishness you're trying to do and trying to be all that. You ain't got that kind of time because you're on the clock. Because the axe led the root of the tree. Come on, somebody. And if you have not, and then, then, then Jesus says through John um, 15 and 16, now my brother read it, and, you have, and he, have, he says, and you have not chosen me. But I have chosen you. Tell your neighbor, you didn't find the Lord. He found you. Thank God he found me. Come on, somebody. Somebody just jumped up and praised God right there. Then he found me. So I, was, I was thinking deep in sins. Oh! Very deeply stained with pain. Sinking to rise no more. But the master heard my despairing cry. I wish I had somebody here that was that, that was coming up for the last time. And he said, heard my despairing cry. From the waters he lifted me. Y'all got to help me. Now safe. Glory to God. 
Don't be lying here talking about you found the Lord. You ain't found the Lord. He found you. Not only did he find you, but he said, I chose you. I chose you. And, and then he says, and not only did I choose you, boy, but I ordained you. I stamped my approval on you. That ye shall go forth and bring forth fruit. And that your fruit shall remain. And then he said, whatever you ask. And my father, he say, he say, I'm going to give it to you. Now, now, we got to close. He says, I'm going to close. If you, according to Leviticus 19, he says, fruit from newly planted trees were not eaten the first three years. Hear what Jesus was talking about now. Because sometimes we, we get so complacent that we forget about that we are fruit bearers. You shall know them by their fruit. Not they, not they talent, not how good he preach, how good they sing, how good they usher. But you know them by their fruit. So in three years, he say, the fourth year of the crop belongs to the Lord. It was. And the farmer would not get. To even enjoy the fruit until the fifth year. But this man had been waiting for seven years. And how long the Lord has got to wait for fruit. How long he's got to tolerate my attitude. How long he got to tolerate my behavior. Some of us been sitting here. Some of us been in the way a while. Some of us have some knowledge of God. But how long can he depend on you? That your children or your grandchildren or your cousin, whatever in, in your life or around you can be able to eat from your tree. How long? Should people make an excuse for you saying that's just how he is? That's just how she is. No, how long are you going to be riding the church without, without being able to, to be a help and a dependence to somebody? Thank you, Jesus. He says he, he had a gripe. He had a legit gripe. He had a legit gripe because he, he had been waiting for seven years. The wonder he wanted to cut the fruitless tree down. No wonder he got tired of going to the fig tree, but there is no fruit. We look so in, in Mark 13, in Mark 12, I believe, when Jesus passed the fig tree and it was barren, Jesus cursed it. And it withered. Because he cursed it because it's supposed to have fruit. Nice mango season. The mango's good. Y'all know the mango's good. But you find a mango tree that's not barren during the season. Something wrong with the tree. Because everything has a time and a season. So the Lord is saying, how long? But some of y'all in here it has been in this ministry a long time. Come up under the same teaching. But you're laying dormant. You ain't doing nothing for God. Everything you're doing is for yourself. And the Lord is asking a question today. How long should I expect fruit from you before I just cut it down? How long should I expect something from you that you're not giving? Because you got don't understand in John 13, 13, 15, Sister Sharon, he just said, I chose you. And I've already ordained you, so you're supposed to have fruit because you've been ordained for fruit now. I'm not asking for something, Freddie, that you're not able to produce. Come on, say amen with me. But this man wanted to cut it down, this fruitless tree. Churching, but no change. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. But the pattern here has an application of individuals and nations. How God is gracious. Come on, let's say he's gracious. And he's long-suffering toward his people to do because he have done more than enough. God is gracious and long-suffering toward his people and do more than enough to encourage us to repent and become fruitful. I dare you to look at somebody and say, he's been good to me. Come on, tell him again, he's been good to me. Tell him, he's been better to me than I've been to myself. And not only that, he's been better to me than I've been to him. More than enough. Look at what you got. All you got is God. Y'all quiet what you got but you you if you touch what you have based on your spirituality you fail you gotta love but you're less spiritual you're less fruitful and God can't trust you he can't use you he can't depend on you you ain't got time you ain't, you ain't got no space you got the ability but you don't have the availability you're just wasting soul Just in the way. Thank you, Jesus. How long shall he put up with me? Waking me up in the morning, blessing me to go to work, putting food on my table, putting money in my bank account, but yet I'm fruitless. I don't know. I can't move from here, Dr. Hill. I'm trying. I'm trying. He's still saying to me, I I'm looking for fruit. I'm not looking for Roy. Well, he said, I'm not looking for talent. Because uh, he said, I'm the gift giver. You can't impress God with your gift. But what he's looking for is results. Yeah. Something that's going to affect somebody. Yeah. Come on, say amen with me. People walking. People walking. People walking. People walking. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, y'all help me today. Come on, come on, come on, help me. Come on, y'all help me. Keep praying for me. No distraction. No distraction. Come on, no distraction. He says, he says, he says, he says, and does more than enough to encourage us to repent and be fruitful. The goodness of God leads a man to repent us. He said, he said to me, Gary, boy, I've been so good to you. You should have been dead. But I spared your life. Out there on them drugs, out there in them streets, all in prison. But I took care of you, boy. And I gave you a chance of a lifetime. You can say like David, if it had not been for the Lord. Don't sit up and look at me like you did it all right. You can look at your mouth and say, if it had not been for the Lord on my side. I wouldn't be sitting here in church all dressed up. Some of y'all looking like it's all about you. I'm here to tell you, it ain't all about you. Can I preach in here? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He says, he says to repent and be fruitful. You, hallelujah. Then he, then he says, I got to move. And he says in, in, in 2 Peter 3 and 9, the Lord is not slight concerning his promise. He says, as some men count slightness, but is long suffering. Come on, say to us, Wood. <laughs> Roy, he long suffering. Uh, look at the look at the self he puts up with me. <laughs> Come on, say to yourself, he puts up with me. He was, he's long suffering. What is he doing? He's trying to get more people in the kingdom. He's trying to get people out of darkness. He's trying to get people to accept what he done for them. Jesus paid it all. <laughs> Oh, to him. I oh, come on, somebody. Sin has left the crimson stain, but, but he wash. I wish I had, I wish I had a radical church today, but he wash. Right as snow. Not willing that any, not willing, he says, to any should perish, but all men will come to repentance. I got to give you this. I'm going to let you go. Come on, say, it is of his mercy. That I'm not consumed. Come on, say his compassion faileth not. 
listen, listen to this now. In Matthew 3, he said, but when he saw many of the Pharisees and the Sadducees, there's two sects of, of self-righteous, zealous people. He's, the, the Jews, zealous and self-righteous Jews, coming to the baptism, water baptism, when John was in the wilderness baptizing. How many of y'all remember that? John says unto them, O generation of vipers. He called them snakes. Oh, generation of five, who has warned you of, to flee from the wrath to come? Oh don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Who has warned you? Yes. Why are you here today? Because you came in them doors because somebody has warned you. Yes. Yes, I wish I had somebody. Somebody warned you to flee from the wrath yes. to come. Yes. Come on, say amen with me. But then in verse 8, he said, but bring forth fruit. Yeah. Evidence. Yeah. If you need something from God, you need some evidence. Yeah. I wish I had somebody here. <laughs> if you need God to bless you, you need evidence. You got to be willing to, for your wig to come off. You got to be willing to keep crying. Your, 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 your mask and all that stuff y'all wear on your face. Uh, you got to be willing for all that to run, the eyelashes to come off, helping somebody. You got to be willing to get whatever you need from God. You need evidence. You can't come here all cute, won't praise God, and you need him. You need something from God, and you're trying to act cute. You need evidence, man. I don't think you ought to wear a suit that you can't praise him in. Freddie, you got to be able to throw your hands up in the air and praise God. To, I don't care who listening. I don't care tears rolling, snot coming out your nose. I don't care how it is. Get me a napkin, but I got to praise him. Come on, y'all. I'm all right about anybody here know what I'm talking about. I got to get for God because can nobody help me but God. Late. It's too late to be so cute, but it's too late. I got to go. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. He said, fruit, evidence. Come on, evidence. He said, meat for evidence, meat, fruit, meat for benefiting repentance. Meat for benefiting. If I need God to do something for me, I need to bring something to the table. Oh, my God. If I need God to heal me, I need to bring something to the table. How many of you are willing to open your mouth and ask him? How many of you are willing to praise him? How many of you are willing to meet God where he wants you to meet him? Meet benefit. I got to move for repentance. What you willing to give up? Say amen with me. And the verse 9 says, I got to move. He says, and think not saying within yourself that we have Abraham to our father. Listen, the more Jews, they, you know, that's pride. That's pride. And John is introducing Jesus, but they still in the Old Testament. God doing a new thing. It's the same thing, but it's a new thing. Because people tell oh, Jesus is just in the New Testament. That's a lie. Jesus is all the way from the beginning. In the beginning was the Word. <laughs> The whole Bible's about Jesus. Come on, somebody. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Am I right about it? The whole Bible is about Jesus. And they got so much pride. Oh, 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 oh. We have Abraham to our father. And I hear this world today. Sister Liz, everybody want to talk about God, but they want to leave Jesus out. You got to be crazy. You can't come to the father except by him. You leave Jesus out. God ain't got nothing to do with you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only. I wish somebody here to help me today. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. Jesus paid the price. I'm going to write about it. I'm going to write about it. And then the Bible says the father highly exalted him. <laughs> and gave him a name above. By the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. Don't let nobody brainwash you trying to get Jesus. You better tell them they saying God, you say Jesus. Because Jesus is God in the flesh. Oh, help me somebody here. Don't get me going up in here. I'm, I'm, 
I'm going to write about it. He says, I got to go. Got me? Okay, he says, if I say unto you that God is able, my nephew, love my nephew, okay, that God is able to, God is able to, God is able to, okay, nephew, God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham which God did by engrafting the Gentile nations. And if you're a Gentile, you was grandfathered in. You was drafted in. Because he says God, because he said God is able to raise up children unto Abraham. Because at the beginning, it wasn't for the Gentiles. Because Jesus says in St. John 1 and 11, he says, I went to my own. And my own receive me not, but to, but to them, for as many that receive me, to them gave he power to become the son of God. You ought to look at somebody and say, I'm glad I'm in the door. Come on, somebody. Look at your neighbors. I'm in the door. I'm in the door. I'm doing the door. I got in the door. Come on, say amen with me. I'm going to close. No. no. I'll tell you something. I'm going to close. I'm going to close, nephew. He says, I want to say this. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We have to be watchful for this vagabond spirit there's a vagabond spirit that's roaming the church now mm, moving vagabond spirit people that is vag that has the vagabond spirit they move from place to place without a fixed home wondering relating to our Characteristic of a wanderer. Say what me unsettled. unsettled. Say what me irresponsible. irresponsible. They live a disputed life. Mm -hmm. They will not commit to no ministry. Something always wrong with the church and the people. And that's a, a spirit that, that roams all the churches. They come by and they come by, but they don't want to commit to anything. But what I love about it is that when people come here and they just want to date us, just hang out with us, and I see what it's all about. And they see and they pray and, and wherever God lead them, they station themselves there. That's not what I'm talking about. Right. I'm talking about people coming to the door and have no desire to stay. They just come to check it out and go back and talk about us. Get on the phone. Because if you're looking for a perfect church, don't come here. Because we're not, we're not perfect, but we're reaching for perfection. We're getting there. Come on, somebody. Am I right about it? We get there. I, I just want to brought that in the spirit, but 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 let's understand something, and that's what's so important. That's what's so important as we as we close. Come on, come on, give the Lord a praise. Come on, give the applause. Yeah. And then and then and then in Matthew he says he says and now 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 he says and now the axe lay at the root of the tree. Because if you want fruit, you got to you got to check your root. Yeah 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 yeah. You, 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 sometimes you got, you, you got to check the soil and cause a good tree can't produce bad fruit. Neither can a bad tree produce good fruit. But I got news for you that if you're standing on any ground but holy ground, you're in the wrong soil. But I, I hear Jesus saying, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. <laughs> and, 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 my boy, if you're standing on Jesus Christ, you got to know you're on good soil. <laughs> and then John says, he said, the root lies at the end of the tree, at the root of the tree. Therefore, if every tree which bring not forth fruit, it shall be hewed down and cut. And then he says, and cast in the lake of fire. But I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Lord, I don't know about you today. 
but I don't want to be cut down. Tell your neighbor from this moment on, I'm going to bring forth the fruit that's repentance. From this moment on, I'm going to please the Lord. Can I get a witness in here? Can I get a witness in here? He's been so good to me. And I love him today. But he brought me out. He changed my life. Can I get a witness in here? The hymnologist said, I was sinking deep in sin. Far from the peace for sure. Seeking deeply deep within sinking the rise no more but the master tell your neighbor thank God for Jesus heard my cry but the master of the sea he heard me oh, he heard me my despair cry from the waters he lifted me Save, 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 save them I, one of these days, one of these days, one of these days, I'm going to hear the Lord says, well done, that good and perfect servant, you was perfect, you was faithful, of a few things, but I'm going to make a rule, over many, I wish I had a church in here. Don't mind saying with me. He chose me. He chose me. He told him, you didn't choose me, but I chose you. I ordained you. I put my spirit in you. Yes. 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 No fruit. No value. God looking for fruit. He's not impressed how you dress. He's not impressed how you look. God looking, God looking for fruit. God said, you shall know them by their fruit. You shall know them by their fruit. God looking, he looking, he looking, he looking for fruit. Grab your neighbor, grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, neighbor, do you have fruit? God looking for fruit. Can you say yes? No fruit. No fruit, no value. Y'all come on, stand with me. He says, how long? Nephew, the man say, it's been seven years and the tree still has not produced. The three years is blossoming. The fourth year Whatever it produced goes to the Lord. Yes. Back then, they, 